What's going on GQ? This is Post Malone and this is On The Rocks. As you guys can see, my collection has grown by uh, quite a bit since the last time we've done this. I look like a hobo, so they need like a reason to talk to me. So I just put my watch on and I'll be like, hey, could you help me out with something? You know, it feels good to grow up and wear cufflinks and watches and fun stuff like that. So I kind of, you know, spend too much money on watches, I guess, yeah. I feel like watches are, are a great investment, you know, especially, you know, the factory diamonds and, you know, the, the super rare collector's pieces. That's, you know, stuff, that's stuff I'm always looking for and always, um, you know, down to buy and, you know, keep or, you know, save and flip or give to my kid, you know, pretty cool stuff. We'll start with this nice rainbow Daytona. I think it's pretty bitch and I think it's really unique and really cool and um, it's one of my favorites. It's classy but it, it still jumps right out and, and, and grabs you and says, hey, look at me. I love this army green aquanaut. This is one of my favorites too and a, a good friend of mine, Mark, helped me land it with Patek and it's really, really special to me so I'm, I'm lucky and blessed to be able to um, to have this one. We'll stay in Patek world. This is my Nautilus uh, factory baguette band and bezel combo with pave to fill it in. This is one of my favorites. Whenever I feel like shining, whenever I feel like stepping out and um, making some trouble, this is this is what I'll rock and I'll wear it with a nice, with these nice, nice rings here. This is a nice stone that my friend Isaac made for me on my uh, opposite ring finger here. So I kind of got this to marry myself because no one, will ever love me like I love myself. This one's by Richie Rich and it's just a really cool baguette invisible set ring and I like it as a pinky ring because it's really fucking fat and awesome. I'm not a big ring guy I don't think. I usually just do a watch, just a watch to match the outfit and then um, whenever I feel like really stepping out I'll wear uh, you know a nice ring or, or two. This one's cool that I have on. This is um, a RM12, and this is one of my favorites, and it's so light, and it's so, it weighs like, I don't remember the stats exactly. They told me it was the lightest tourbillon in existence, which makes me feel like a spaceman, which is pretty, pretty cool, I think. This is a Bubba Watson here. This one I really like. I wore this at the GQ party the other day and I think it looks nice with like a super dressed up suit, a little sporty look with the watch. And I think the white stands out. I like the subtlety of it because it's like, if you look at it and you're not a watch guy, you'll be like, oh, okay. I don't know what that is. It's, it's got a rubber band and everything, but this is one of my favorite watches too. This one is the Richard Mill Skull Asia Edition. This is my most expensive watch. Million dollars. I feel weird saying that. It's cool because now I have shit to talk about in my songs. So that's why I do it. That's part of it too. I think the skull is so cool. It's badass. And this is just a nice, tasteful piece of jewelry, but it still has that edge to it. I love this one. That's my favorite. Where do you buy your jewelry? Angel City Jewelers here in LA. He's the best and he's the sweetest guy in the world. And he takes really good care of me. And that's really important for me to build the relationship. And he's just an incredible guy and he's always been there for me, so. This was a gift for my birthday 
from 21 Savage after we went on tour together and he gave me this watch and it's a really sentimental piece and I'm gonna keep it forever. This is one of my favorites also because of the story and he's such a sweet guy and so uh, grateful to have friends that um, get me goodies and are really nice. I know he doesn't, you know, rock a whole lot of jewelry anymore but we had to get each other watches so I got him a nice icy Rolex for his birthday in Atlanta so it was a lot of fun. It feels good to give back. Skeleton Hublot. I love Hublots. It's got a little beat up, didn't it? But I love this watch and I love the tacticalness of Hublots. They're great for everyday, you know, use. I live in Salt Lake City, so I like to rock my tactical gear and these are great, great watches for them. My manager, Dre, got a factory Royal Oak and I got this beautiful Ferrari Hublot. And it's cool because the sides are all sapphire and such. I just think it's really nice and refined and I think it's a very, very pretty watch. This is my favorite watch by, by far. It's big, it's bossy, and um, it's a real, real bitchin' piece. Whenever I step out with the Patek and, and the rings, I gotta fucking, you know, tie it all home. These are all from Angel City Jewelers. I love just rocking the chain by themselves. I have this, there's this nice all baguette type deal, which is cool as hell. TMZ said it was 250,000. I just let them tell me how much it is. He made this for me as well. These are my two favorite chains. So this is my cowboy star and my little Dimitri head which is, you know, the posty little guy, and then God's team, America's football team, best team in the world. I love rocking these with the, you know, the ice and just fucking it up. Big white gold guy. I love rose gold. I don't have a lot of yellow gold. My Hot Boys chain that the defense of the Dallas Cowboys gave to me and inaugurated me in, which I'm super honored and very blessed to be a part of. And this is yellow gold. It was just hot as hell. Sacking quarterbacks and just getting it done. So we love that. This is a Shrem Life medallion pendant that Sway gave to me after tour. So this is super special to me. This is a new one as well. I love my friends. Now I gotta get him a chain. And then these are my electric field chains that my managers got for me. I love these. These are great little pieces you can just mix and match. It's the studio that I work at and it's, you know, um, a conglomerate of minds that are just genius. This is a Chanel candy necklace. It's not real candy, um, but I think this is a, one of my favorite chains too. I think it's super cute. It's very unique. Jesse from the neighborhood had it. I saw him in a picture with it and I stole his swag. Richard Mill cufflinks. This is cool. This is cool to me. I saw a bunch of pictures of them online and I always wanted them, but I could never find them, but I found these and I'm like, yeah, so it's really good. What year you have on right now? Oh, this is, a, I think this is Roberto Coin. I got these in Vegas. There was another one, I lost it. The baguettes are cool, so. I like to keep a nice little theme going on, so it gets in the watch and in the ear and on the on the chain and the um, rings as well. So. your first piece of jewelry make sure you really think about it make sure you really know what you want 
a lot of this stuff is a lot of money and it's something that you're gonna want around for a long time. Take care of it, keep it nice and clean. So that was it guys, thank you for checking out my collection. Um, you know, I'll see you guys around in the next couple of years and um, I gotta go do a photo shoot. So thank you guys very, very much. Oh yeah.